Hi guys and welcome back to freesciencelessons.com Today we're going to be learning about a required practical <laughs> Come on, come join the party If you're going to do it, get it right It can't be science lessons are cool, you can <laughs> Right, so today we're going to set up a required come practical Come join the party We've got an ammeter We need one of those because it measures the current Next, we've got a voltmeter. It measures the voltage. This is a power pack. It, pro it provides the, the, the charge for the circuits. These are called wires. We need them in our circuit to transport the energy as it, as it goes around. It's a bit like a railway because it got, you've got little carriages and they carry the charge. Right, this is our filament bulb. It, it lights up if you plug it in right. Okay, so connecting our circuit, we chuck one of the wires into the DC, the D of the C part on here. Then we plug that back into our ammeter and we don't turn it on yet because that's not full circuit. Then we get our filament bulb. We plug that into the red bit of the power pack. And we also plug that into the ammeter too because otherwise it's not a circuit. Then we have our voltmeter. Our voltmeter needs to be connected in parallel because otherwise it won't work. So we get we get wire number one. We don't dangle it off the table. <laughs> we get wire number one. We plug it in through the the, the, uh, the bulb because it's in parallel to the bulb because we're measuring the voltage as it travels from point A to point B. Point B is back in our in our power pack. So we plug it into that one, and then we can turn our circuit on. So, to take our measurements, we're going to turn this dial from number one up to number five. Here is our table. It's a very badly drawn table, but it's highlighted to make it look nice. So, we also need a pencil. This is not a pencil, this is a pen, but it works all the same. So, our dial is on number one. That means the input is emitting one volt through the cell of the, of the circuit. So, because this is our filament lamp, we are on table number two, and that means that there should be electricity running through the circuit, and we can take our measurements from both the ammeter and the voltmeter. So, our ammeter currently reads 0.01, and we can write that down in our table, and our voltmeter also reads 0.01. That's wrong, because it doesn't read 0.11, it reads 0.06. So, if we write that down in our table, um, yeah, that's how you set up a circuit, and that's how you do it. Please stop watching me. 